yo what's up guys it's your boy franklin here and today i'm gonna be using a, a team that i actually used in one of my previous wi-fi battles i thought it was pretty cool it did what it had to do and i was presently surprised at the results so anyways we are going up against a hail team not an IL team or mostly like a very interesting team here uh conk puts in a ton of work but we have to deal with um Primarina and the Ninetales, so I believe I actually got absolutely nothing for Cinderace, so we're just going to lead off with it. I actually used this team on the OU ladder and did pretty well with it. I did say, like, it catches, like, Conk is a, still a pretty good Pokemon, even after the DLC drop, because it tentatively can deal with Mandibuzz and the Clefable. Uh, Clefable that's not, like, physically defensive, so I think that's pretty good. And anything that can beat that core, including Ferrothorn and possibly Toxapex, I think it deserves some respect. <laughs> so anyways, let's get right into it. We got the Cinderace here. Um, completely fine with me because I know I'm faster. There's no way you would lead this off into making me believe that you are not sashed. So we're going to go into Cinderace here. Does so much damage. Demagrios. And I think... You know what? Conk does pretty good here as well. Um, so we're going to go for it. Just to get our burn up. Goes for a Stone Edge and Gibidi Yet yeah, misses. Very nice. Very, very nice for my opponent. That's what you get. Uh, anyways, we're going to go for a uh, Drain Punch here. In case he wants to attack us. I wonder if he's going to switch out. Not really sure. Very interesting um, team, by the way. Maybe it's some... Offensive Aurora Veil. I have no idea, but switches out. So whoever's coming in, unless you are a fat fairy. Okay, that seems fair to me. Um, we're gonna go for a Drain Punch here and take a ton of damage. Goodness gracious! And um, yeah, very nice for us so far. That did a lot of damage. Goodness gracious! Um. I think Primarina might be good in this matchup. Uh, let's, let's go into Primarina. Um, as I can see, tell from the team, that there's only one Steel type that can take this very well. So I was going to go for the Play Rough. Okay, that did a lot of damage, by the way. Wow, I'm impressed. Uh, we're going to go for uh, the Moonblast here. I was thinking about Flip Turn. But doesn't seem like it's a good idea. And I'm actually faster and I am spec, so this should knock it out. Great. That's one conch check to deal with. <laughs> one less check to deal with, I should say. And I wonder what he's gonna go into. Maybe the Mawile. I'm not sure. Possibly. If so, I'm gonna go into my Cinderace and bluff that I have a fire attack on this. And I actually like the bluff on Cinderace because um, Pyro Ball, like if I go into a Corviknight, my opponent's for switch out and then I have to play mind games. I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, you know. And my opponent has to be like, oh well, I don't know, I don't know. And I'm going to go into my Cinderace here. Expecting an Iron Head or probably like something that can deal with the Primarina. Goes for an Iron, yeah, like I expected. And at this point in time, I mean, high jump kick catches something off guard here. So I'm going to go for it. And he withdraws. I knew it. Maybe I could have clicked U-turn there, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter too much to me. Goes into slow volley. Uh, is this flying? What is this? It looks like it's flying. And I missed, causing me to lose all this <laughs> damage. And so it looks like it is holding a plate. What is it? It's water. Okay. It means I'm going to go U-turn here. Make it take some damage. So, I'm getting out of here. Critical hit. Puts it at half. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't matter too much to me. And so, we're going to go into... Ooh. Dragon Pulse. Or Primarina. I expect probably a multi-attack coming. Yes, sir. 
This does a lot because now multi attack is a very, very strong move. If you guys don't know that, like multi attack is now, I think, uh, last generation it was like 90, I think, but now it's an 120 base attack prior to any plate boost, which is insane. Like it's actually pretty good. Um, but luckily for us, Primarina can tank two attacks and just knock this thing out. So one less check to deal with. Now, I expect the Lola Nine Tails to come in, but knowing our opponent, it doesn't seem like any there isn't any initiative to do anything. <laughs> what is this? This is the Mawa. Yep. I can't even switch in my Cinderace here. Uh, I'm not too worried. I'm going to go for Moonblast. Hopefully I'm faster. And I am faster. So this is Specs. Again, expecting to do a lot of damage. Goodness gracious, that did so much damage. Goes for an Iron Head. And unfortunately, our Primarina goes down. And I think Primarina did a lot more than what it was supposed to. So now we're going to go into our... And get that Psychic Terrain up. And expanding four switch-ins non-existent so we're gonna go right into expanding force and if you guys don't know what expanding force does uh pretty much is a psychic type move that damages all pokemon in psychic terrain and and pretty much doubles power in terrain and because it's a stab obviously it's gonna knock out the model it's not a lot of hp but it's gonna do a ton of damage <laughs> that's all i gotta say um i like indeedy this now in the DLC because it gets a very good psychic type move to spam and it's just it's just a clean Pokemon right now not in terms of like offensive variation I'm faster somehow but uh, with expanding force now makes it a nuke and without Mandibuzz and probably without T-Tars running around this thing would be a gigantic threat but Girna can take a hit from this it can get two hit KO'd if it's uh, offensive variation of Magirna but Regardless, I think we pick up the victory here. And we're just gonna, indeed, just blow everything up here. <laughs> Took care of the checks with Mawal Ma and all that. Um, but we'll see how things go. And it looks like my opponent is just gonna, oh, this is gonna blow up, dude. I don't think you realize I'm specs, though. Woo! Just to, just to keep in mind the calculations of expanding force, it is... Psychic Terrain boosted, which is 30%. Stab, 30%. Stab, which is 50%. Double power, I believe. Or is it 50% power? I'm not sure. It's uh, expanding force in Psychic Terrain. So it's just a ginormous amount of um, power. And looks like it should be game over. Because Ndidi just starts sweeping everyone else. Don't tell me my Ndidi's faster, bro. Bruh, I'm going to be really upset. <laughs> So my opponent is just going to Dynamax here. Um, I don't think there's a move that can knock out Indeedee unless... Because it does have some good um, special defense. So that's why I'm not really too worried about this. As long as you don't break my, uh, <laughs> my Psychic Terrain. So we're going to go for Expanding Force. Actually, oh my god. It almost blew up the Ninetales, which is incredible. Um, this is going to be not doing... Oh, it does it quite a bit, but luckily for us, it is GG to our opponent. Indeedy pulling in the work. And wow, it just completely blew up the Ninetales. <laughs> wow, it actually almost one hit KO'd it. <laughs> if it had less Dynamax levels, then probably would have just died. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Very interesting um appreciate all the support so far we're almost close to 800 subscribers but our main goal is to get 1000 hit that like button hit that subscribe button get to see you guys in the next giveaway like i mentioned in my previous videos that giveaway is going to be um possibly next saturday around maybe 9 p.m 10 p.m specific pacific standard time and hopefully we get we actually ended up um upgrading my pc so hopefully everything should go smoothly without any lag so hope to see you guys on the flip side